Well, one of the headlines of the day, Ford Motor. Investors are watching the company today after the Wall Street Journal reported that the automaker will cut 10% of its global workforce, amounting to roughly 20,000 job cuts. The journal says that it's part of an effort to boost profits and turn around the declining stock price. Over the last year, Ford shares are down better than 16%. Compare that to a 10% gain for General Motors. Joining us right now, Glenn Mead, Director of Investment Strategy, Jason Pride. And Jason, good to see you. We know that the auto sector has been rolling over uh, over the last quarter. We also know that the consumer has been weak. What do you make of these job cuts at Ford? Look, you know, nice, to have, nice to be on again, Maria. Uh, I think the auto sector is something very particular to the auto industry. It appears that there is, a, there is an oversupply of used vehicles uh, that have flooded the auto industry market, and that's fairly unique. It's not something that we're seeing in all other markets. In fact, I have to say, our, our leading indicators and our job indicators are pointing in a positive trend for the U.S. economy as well as the global economy. So I think this is something very particular to the auto sector itself. So, uh, John Peoples, when you see the consumer slowing down, when you see the auto sector uh, slowing down, do you think that will impact the broader economy? I mean, you were just talking about malls and the, and the traffic or lack of. For the, for the retail sector. It's about the consumer. Yeah, I think the consumer, though, is changing its buying pattern. So they are, I mean, the consumers more and more and very rapidly now are making their purchases online. Amazon stock keeps running up um, because their customer base just keeps growing. And I think that's going to have an impact on, on, on our jobs because what's happening now is the shopping malls are dead. I was on a panel at the Milken conference uh, a couple weeks ago uh, with Barry Sternleck, Sam Zell, and others, and they were all talking about how desperate um, retailers are and how these retail malls are a thing of the past now. So I think that and then, of course, technology, what it's going to do to the automotive industry with Tesla, um, taking people out of their cars, essentially, and having them self-driven and having the cars be more product productive, that all, I think, reduces jobs. I can, I, no, I can compare but, what's happening in automotive sector to the malls. The retailers sat back and watched this happen. We've been having this conversation about malls for the last maybe 20 years, and certainly these large department stores have been on the ropes since the crisis, the financial crisis in 2008. At least Mark Fields and the auto industry, they recognize the threat. They recognize where, the, right. the, how we drive, where that's going and how that's rapidly changing, and they're trying to do it's, something about it. It's one right. thing to recognize the threat. It's another thing to be able to get in a whole organization to move in response to deal with it. And no, that's the, how you recognize the, the, the news. The news industry, the newspaper industry, is a great example of this. You know, we've had 20 years to, to recognize the challenge that we face from the internet, and it's still hitting us. To turn a whole organization around yeah. in the face of a threat is a really difficult thing to do. It sure is. Uh, Jason, real quick before you go, would you put new money to work in this market? Absolutely. We'd be putting new money to work in this market. It's a it's in kind of an unusual environment where the economic and fundamental story is pretty good for companies. Profits are up 13 percent of the past uh, year in this latest quarter, uh, yet valuations are high. So you have to do so, but you have to do so in a fairly diligent way, focusing on value and defensiveness within the equity market, but still holding a full position. All right. We'll leave it there. Jason, good to see you. Thanks so much. Thank Jason you. Jason Pride there.